Adam Young with football head coach, Doug Martin. Coach, what has the last week been like for you, the other coaches, and all the players? Yeah, I think, Adam, more than anything, it's just the uncertainty. Uh, you know, not go knowing, you know, are you going to play a season, or are you not going to play a season? Uh, you know, what are the NCAA rules going to be? What are they going to allow you to do? There's just a lot of things that are unknown. I think that's been the hardest thing for the players to handle. You know, once you give them a little bit of definition and, and they know what to expect, they, they do a lot better with things. You got a couple of days of practice. It seemed like the players were handling the uncertainty pretty well. Man, I tell you what, they've been great. And that's, that's when they're most comfortable, when they're on the field. And, you know, they control everything there and they get to have some fun. And that's the most I've seen them have fun all summer is when we've been out here practicing. And the few practices we've seen, you know, as you and I spoke before, I, you know, I saw a lot of great things. I mean, this might be the best offensive team we've had since we've been here. The skill players we have, the depth in the offensive line. And I love our team's speed on defense right now. So, you know, we've got a lot to look forward to. How do you handle the rest of the fall with workouts, practices? Can you still practice right now? We can right now. You know, this week the NCAA has pretty much left it up to the individual schools what they're going to do, and then they're going to make some rules later this week. That's like I told the players, the biggest thing to do is just take it one day at a time because, you know, you drive yourself crazy trying to figure out, you know, this may happen, that may happen, all those type of things. So it's, it's still un so, so uncertain. Uh, so we're just taking it one day at a time and enjoying the days we have out here. Do you expect motivation to be an issue? Because it was postponed, not canceled. There's still the chance to play in the spring. Is that what you're pushing things towards? Well, we are. And we're anticipating playing in the spring because that's the, the first opportunity we may have to play. But regardless, even if we're not playing, hopefully we're going to have a spring practice. So one way or another, we're going to be playing football in the spring. So it's important for our players to get the best shape they can be. And right now, no teams across the country are in great shape because we've missed so much time over the summer of training. So I think the weight room right now is really important to our guys, the conditioning part of things, and then as much as we can do on the field, uh, you know, just to get ahead. We've seen opinions from other coaches, players, on what 2021 could look like if you play in the spring, and then play in the fall. What are your thoughts on that? Well, the thing I worry about that is playing too many games in the spring. And then you're asking these kids for a quick turnaround to play again in the fall. And you're going to tax them physically that way. And it's not worried about COVID, but it's the physicalness of, of football uh, and having to play twice that quickly. I think that's dangerous for the players. But I think anywhere from, you know, four to maybe six, seven games, I think is a doable thing if you could do that in the spring and then still play in the fall. I know you love your two quarterbacks right now, Egit and also Jonah Johnson. Uh, this offense has the chance to be special. No question. Those guys have brought us back to where we were in 2017 with the arm strength and the, uh, the maturity and the, and the athleticism both those guys have. And much more like Tyler Rogers and what we had with him. So we're excited about those guys. And then we've got a plethora of receivers. I mean, we really have a lot of skilled guys that are going to be amazing. It seems like at the quarterback spot, too, it's a healthy competition. It is very much healthy. You know, neither one have played in the game, so there's there's uneven footing right now. Joan obviously is coming out of junior college, so he's played some college football. Um, I love his presence. You know, his pulse never gets above 65. It doesn't seem like he just doesn't get rattled. Uh, Weston has some great attributes about just being able to be creative and make plays. And, uh, and again, the arm strength of both of them. It's, uh, it's going to be exciting watching those two play. Did you see a lot of good leadership in your brief time in camp? Oh, no question. You know, and one thing that the, the COVID environment has done, it's, it's exposed people, whether they're all in or all out. Mm -hmm. and, and that's been fun to watch, you know. So you're really seeing the cream rise to the top. You know, the guys that really want to play football, that are really dedicated, they're really great teammates and want to lead, they're showing up and they're being exposed, and, and that's been fun to watch. Lastly, Coach, you never want the news that your season's postponed, but every day there was so much unknown. Now that you know you're not going to play in the fall, does that help a little bit? Well, it does because you have some definition. Uh, you know, not knowing and trying to, you know, you're, you're, you're shut down for a while because of a positive test, and then you're back going again, and then you're off, and then you're going. That, that's really hard. It's hard on coaches. It's hard on players. It's hard to prepare. So now at least you have some identity about where we're going to be going, some decisions are being made. And I think it, it puts the players at, at ease a lot more. Six feet apart. Coach, thanks for your time yeah, as always. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's Aggie football head coach, Doug Martin.